Hey everybody, Gabriel Marino from Motivated Painters here. Hopefully you're doing well, your year's going good so far. I'm going to do this uh, Tesla hood, fairly new car, so there's no, there's no chips or anything, so just a little bit of primer here. So what I'm gonna do is actually, because I wanna stay away from the mess that these cars are, and uh, they're, they're cloudy on their own, so I'm not gonna touch that. I'm just gonna do this, and then we're doing a little repair in the back here as well. I'm gonna try to keep it small. So first things first, I'm gonna blow the car off and I'm going to clean the crap out of it with my microfiber, all right? So hang tight, hopefully you'll learn something. Um, not sure how it's gonna turn out, but you're gonna see it regardless, all right? I'm gonna blow it off first. You know, I've noticed something about Tesla that for some reason it's like they come contaminated from they come contaminated from from factory. Like so I gotta wash them really really well because I've noticed a few of them consistently only on Teslas that you know there's fish eyes on them. So it's weird because I don't really have problems with fish eyes at all until these Teslas came up. So now I gotta, you know, I gotta make sure that these get washed. I have a feeling it's something to do with the undercoating or the, uh, the e-coat that they use at the factory or something, but there's something about them. So if you guys, anybody here does any Teslas, make sure you wash the crap out of them with the greaser. Like really, really, really good. And I noticed that the microfiber cloth is what works the best for me, anyways, for me, um, when it comes to cleaning, it just grabs everything and it cleans it extremely well, which is what I need, right? So hopefully, we'll keep this small and uh, we have no issues but you know it's Monday and uh, you're probably watching this week uh, this video on a weekend or something but so as you can see I wash each side twice and I go over the plastic to make sure that if there's anything on there that you know, when I'm clearing over here, nothing's gonna go on the panel. So, you know, you wanna make sure that you're cleaning things properly. Always, always, always. These cars have a lot of defects from factory. And most of the time, that's what we do here. We, the factory brings it to us so that we can fix their screw ups, which is kind of ironic. And uh, yeah, but, Tesla has been uh, extremely picky with the jobs. Like you know, sometimes they'll they'll they're just like not realistic in the expectations of their paint jobs. You know, like they bring it here and they expect it to be better than factory, which it already is because we fix factory defects. But they go like way crazy. Defect right there. The black spot underneath the underneath the clear on the base, and that's all over their cars. 
especially on white pearls. Woo, crazy. So I like to do this. Kind of tack. I'm not going to use the tack cloth on this just yet. But I will do that. Make sure there's nothing stuck to it. And then I'm going to use the, uh, the static gun to get rid of the static that I just created by blowing and tacking. Very important. I think it's a good investment to invest in a static gun, definitely. When we're at the static gun. There we go. And this, you want to use it, whichever static gun you have, you want to use it like if you're spraying the panel. So you want to kind of sweep everything to one side as I usually teach, but obviously with air. And this gets rid of static in the panel. A little bit on myself. There we go. So I'm going to pay attention at the angling of my gun and the way that I'm spraying because this is going to be crucial with a successful I'm going to spray at 25 psi okay making sure it's good and look at the angling on my gun okay I'm angling down I'm angling towards the floor and I'm angling away from that and I'm not pulling full trigger just kind of dusting it on there Get a light coat on. Get a light coat on there, right? Let that flash off. And then the second coat, we'll hammer it on. Hope for the best, baby. Same thing over here. Angling that way. Stay away from that. And you'll be fine. Trust me. Okay? Just play around with the trigger. A little bit of a trigger. Just to get a, a nice, 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 nice. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Just a nice coat. I'm gonna do a little something right there. Here's another black spot here. Oh, they just make it hard for me. They just love to make it hard for me. All right. Because you put it on really light, that's dry. Now we're gonna go full trigger, but move, okay? Look at the angling of the gun, okay, boys and girls? This is very important. That's what's gonna keep you away from there. Awesome. That's covered, that's done. We'll come back to that. Same thing here, full trigger. Look at the release of the trigger right there. Release, release, release. This we can just go like that, right? What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to over reduce the crap out of this, okay? I want it to be almost transparent and then it will show you what that does if you have a lot of base what you want to do is you want to pour some off and save for later for another car and then maybe uh we're recording i really hope so and then maybe you can you know save a little bit because we're gonna over reduce it a lot All right, so we got about four ounces in there. Actually, a little less than four ounces, right? About three ounces. Hope you can see this. And uh, this is uh, T490. It's just a clear additive. And uh, we're going to basically 150%. Okay, we want to over reduce it a lot. 150% of the T490. And then just a little bit of that, you don't want to put too much, but you want to put enough that's going to thin it out. This is going to keep it together, this is going to thin it out. This is going to thin it out, this is going to keep it together, okay? 
This is a T494, which is what you use for reducing the water base for PPG and Virobase. That's what I'm using. I'm using PPG and Virobase. And I'm using the HTE, HTE Welcome, HTE Base. I'm using 1.3, so I'm running out of breath. And a Motivated Painters Edition, which hopefully will be um, easy for you guys to get soon. So we're going to blow this. Get, get this dry so then we can put another couple coats on this, okay? So it's nice and wet. We're gonna get the blower. We're gonna get the motivated painters. Motivated painters. Welcome blower. We're gonna start off about two feet away, right? When you see that it's getting dull, right? When it's kind of like that shine starts coming off, then you can get closer. So, I'm gonna get my microfiber cloth. I'm gonna wipe just in case there's overspray of the base. Awesome. So now what I'll do, do that same thing on the quarter panel. So that's ready to go another another coat. This obviously is still wet because we didn't use the blower. See? Awesome. I'm not concerned about the color because this color is not terrible and uh, we got lots of room to blend so we're good but what I'll do is I'm now this is over reduced I'm gonna turn the pressure down to 22 and now basically we want to go a little farther and you still want to you want to put it on not like super heavy but you want to put it on like that heavy enough not like clear coat but you want to put it on uh, enough that you're gonna get you're gonna continue to get coverage notice the angling of my gun right because I want to stay away from here I want to stay away from there now this is very over reduced so the overspray won't have a lot of effect where it lands right but where the overspray lands of this because it's so over reduced going to give us a beautiful blend of the base which is what we want so we'll see how this looks as soon as it flashes up and what we can do is we can actually keep over reducing this right so the color will start losing strength well it already started losing strength but but it'll keep losing strength which gives you the ability to do what I'm doing here which is blending a hood so, you know, that's a little tip when you're blending hoods. Get coverage on the area that you need and then over reduce it with uh, the clear additive, whatever it is in your company. Most companies do have one. It's what you spray the mid coat on tri coats. So you put that on 150% that, you know, over reduce it, make it very transparent, basically make it into a mid coat but after you get coverage. Awesome. So that's looking good. I'm gonna do another coat like that and then a control coat. And then we're done. This, I mean, you know, such a big hood like this, preferably you wanna just base the whole thing and kind of stay away from the edges but just for the sake of the video and the fact that it's it's a fairly difficult thing to do to be able to blend this color here in the middle of this hood but i wanted to show you that it's possible it's doable 
at least with PPG and Base, you can do it. So this is not ready to go yet. Just a little more. That's it. So you can see it here, right? I'm gonna put a new coat, but I'm gonna go a little further. Same air pressure, 22 PSI on the HTE base, 1.3. Awesome. This over here, <coughs> looking good, right? Obviously, you see how it's blue? That's what PPG and Wire Base does, because it's water based, so it looks blue. Once it dries, the blue goes away. All right, just gonna need a control code and then we're done with it. <clears throat> oh, I guess the key is too close. Looking good. 18 PSI. <laughs> 18 PSI, full trigger. Fan is 90% open, 95% open. And just a light coat like that. It's gonna be a double control coat. That's what works best with uh, this high metallic color. Just like that. But you can see that I'm not putting it on heavy, right? I'm not putting it on heavy. It looks dry. It looks, uh, um, it still looks, right? Um, how do I explain it? Um, dry, right? So it's just a mist coat. Okay, same thing over here. Double control coat. There. Let that evaporate a little and then we're good to go for another one. This, I don't know, for some reason it works every single time for me. It just blends out the, the metallics really nice. Let's see how this looks like. You know what? I'm good with that. I'm good with that. That'll be good. All right, is it perfect? No, 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 never, never will it be perfect. I'm gonna go make some clear and we'll be back. Okay. Do it away to this. And we're good to go. We're good to go. I'm using a uh, PPG EnviroBase EC550, half EC520, Momo Harner, fast reducer, not fast reducer, but the 75 producer. Spraying at 34 PSI. First coat, we're gonna go quicker, but we're gonna put enough on. A 
little bit closer and a little bit faster. But enough on that we have good coverage. But it's consistent. There's no dry spots, right? No heavy spots. It's just a consistent, uh, fairly thin layer of clear coat. Okay? That looks great. Look at that. Love it. This won't be perfect because these cars are very difficult to figure out. A lot of them don't have coverage from factory and uh, a lot of the stuff that's on there doesn't really match. But that looks great. So we're going to give this a couple minutes flash. You can see from factory the cloudiness and modeliness, right? And then up here, and there our stuff is nice and smooth. It's gorgeous. Get a little piece of lint there. I'm gonna get my little dirt pick. Love these things. These things are the best. Dirt pick from Evernote. Evercoat. Not Evernote. Evernote's awesome. Evernote is uh, an application for your phone. Okay. You're not going to see this on camera, but you just got a tiny little piece of lint. So I gotta wash my suit again. Boom, picked it up like nothing. That's why I love these dirt picks. They have like little, um, little tentacles at the end. So, that's that. I'll give it one more minute. Because of the 520, I can let this flash less and because of the 550 we're gonna make this shine really beautiful. Okay, ready to go. So now we're gonna go a little bit farther but we're gonna move slower. So to put a very even consistent coat heavier than the first one, right? So enough to smooth and everything out. The cool thing about the HCE Clear from Welcome is that it has such a good automation that it never over applies to clear. I mean, obviously if you like hold on to it in one spot, you're gonna over apply the clear, but I only mix 23 ounces of clear coat for this job, which is actually gonna be too much. You can probably do it with 20 ounces of clear. And that's full clear in the hood, full clear in the quarter. But I'll show you how much clear we're gonna have left over. It's amazing. That's why I love this gun. You get a beautiful finish. You get a beautiful finish. Wow, check that out. Beautiful finish, and you're not over applying the clear, but you're putting enough clear for good protection. That's, that's the awesome part. I'm sure we're still on dial there. 34. Right? And I love the trigger of this gun. The trigger of this gun is so smooth. Sometimes I get freaked out when I'm not pulling it. Insert dirty joke here. I'm 
sure. If you have like a tiny little nib, you can touch it up right away with a gun. And you have nothing to worry about. Which is why I like the combination of 520 and 550. But only like 10 seconds, that's it. But look at this. Check it out. Look how much clear I have left. Luckily I have another job to do, but I mix 22 ounces and I have four ounces left. So I could have mixed 18 ounces for a hood and a quarter panel. Anyways, boys and girls, here we go. Sadly, we've come to an end of another video. For some of you, it's a relief. <laughs> but there you have it. Really nice. Probably about four nibs on this, but I'm happy with it. Definitely looks 10 times better than factory. That's for sure. And that's what we want. We want better than factory. That's why they bring it here. So we can show it some love. Look at that finish. So beautiful. It's always nice, clear on clear. And then you got a repair there, right? Couple nibs, nothing crazy. Hey, I'm happy with it. And uh, is it perfect? No, it's not, because Gabriel touched it. And uh, I appreciate you being here. My name's Gabriel, motivatedpainters.com. Hopefully you get a chance to go over there and get yourself a paint suit, get yourself a blower, and uh, support the channel. I, I wouldn't do it if nobody watches then I'm, I won't keep doing these but hopefully you know they're adding enough value to some people that's the whole thing about the channel add value to painters because I realized 12 years in the trade I realized that not many people care about painters so I want to try to make a difference in that all right boys and girls I love you God bless you take care I realize that if I don't tell you this you might not do it please subscribe please share this video share the channel with those who you like and those who don't like. All right, take care.